Let's get to the news. President Biden was photographed on Thursday picking a dandelion from the White House lawn and giving it to First Lady Dr. Jill Biden. And right about there is when Kamala Harris called for a Bible. Oh, false alarm. Nope. He's getting back up. Yep. No, just picking a flower. The Kentucky Derby was this weekend, and they're off, said Americans about their TVs. According to his advisors, former President Trump is still challenging the results of the 2020 election and has called for a hand recount of two million ballots cast in Arizona's largest county, which brings us to a segment called Seth Tries to Think of Literally Anything More Pathetic. Asking your mom to prom? No? Helping the guy your wife had an affair move. No, asking your mom to prom and she's already going with someone else? No, I can't do it. This has been Seth Tries to Think of Literally Anything More Pathetic. I cannot believe Scollins wrote that joke and then did the voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> is there anyone, is there anyone working here on quality control? And a real flat read, too. <laughs> Let's be honest, it's not like, it's not like he's our staff's Morgan Freeman. Well, we had to let him do it. I can't believe he wasn't busy with other voiceover work. <laughs> President Biden said last week that he was not given advance notice of the raid on former President Trump's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani's home. And I would have believed him if he hadn't had popcorn all over his suit. U.S. troops began their withdrawal last week from Afghanistan after nearly 20 years occupying the country. To give you an idea how long that is, that's right, U.S. troops began their withdrawal last week from Afghanistan. Biden has plenty of reasons, but number one is definitely those YouTube videos where they surprise a dog. Ah, dang it, gets me every time. Former President Trump was reportedly presented with a 24-page proposal to launch his own multi-billion dollar media company. And under his leadership, in a few years, it could become a multi-million dollar company. After visiting former President Jimmy Carter at his home on Thursday, President Biden told reporters that they, quote, sat and talked about the old days, like when they worked side by side to try to bring down crime and gas prices and that mammoth. According to Politico, 17% of President Biden's White House staffers have degrees from Harvard University. Said the other 83%, oh, we know. <laughs> Authorities in Pennsylvania announced last week that they arrested a man after they discovered $1 million worth of crystal meth, six so-called ghost guns, and Nazi paraphernalia during a raid. And now the man is trying to decide if he should accept a plea deal or just go ahead and run for Congress. The NYPD recently announced that it will no longer use its controversial so-called robot dog and once again, Travis stepped up to the plate. He was my dog. I'll do it. <laughs> Real hot Monday for Collins. <laughs> and finally, the Italian motorcycle company Benelli recently launched a new scooter called the Dong. And it's a pretty good scooter. Except in cold weather. <laughs> President Biden received the daily intelligence briefing this morning. It was just so they released the Carter picture. How is this the first we're hearing about the Bidens being 40 feet tall? <laughs> it looked like a ventriloquist act. You know that dandelion picture from the other day? That was an oak tree. It was announced yesterday that President Biden will deliver the commencement address later this month at the U.S. Coast Guard Academy graduation. And while we're on the subject, is it too late to change your major? <laughs> Don't make me send you back to Scranton. And White House announced yesterday, uh, excuse me, the White House, or a White House. <laughs> we should stop being so specific about which one it is. The White House announced yesterday that President Biden is raising the annual refugee limit to 62,500, also rising Tucker Carlson's blood pressure. President Biden asked fifth graders at an elementary school in Virginia yesterday what they wanted to be when they grew up. Said students, covered by a health care plan that isn't tied to my employment. 
Florida Governor Ron DeSantis yesterday suspended all of the state's coronavirus restrictions and said, quote, we are no longer in a state of emergency, adding, but it's still Florida, so give it a couple of days. Microsoft founder Bill Gates announced yesterday that he and his wife Melinda will get a divorce after being married for 27 years. Apparently, it was an accumulation of lots of little things, like how Bill would never empty the recycling. That's what you get for hiring people who used to work in IT. <laughs> Researchers in Germany recently named a new bacteria that is linked to lung parasites after the Pokemon tool Pokeballs because they're a similar shape. Said one German doctor, bad news, we didn't catch them all. <laughs> I should know, I freestyled there. The joke was not for a German doctor. In the last minute, I was like, you know what? Let's let it rip. What's the worst that could happen? And then you saw what the worst was. A man in England was arrested last week after a four miles per hour police chase in a narrow boat on a canal that lasted for eight miles, which means that by the time they caught him, the statute of limitations had run out. Eight people who were involved in the torch relay for the Tokyo Olympic Games have tested positive for the coronavirus. Well, it's hard news to hear, but at least the contact tracing will be easy. And finally, according to a new report, the number of customers who subscribe to AOL's dial-up internet service is, quote, in the low thousands, which is also their average age. Facebook's oversight board announced today that it will uphold the company's decision to suspend former President Trump's account. So whatever else you think of the guy, he did find a way to leave Facebook. President Biden announced yesterday he will change the country's coronavirus vaccination strategy. He's going with reverse psychology. Fine. Don't get one. No one wants to hang out with you in an indoor setting anyway. In a new interview, Republican Senator Josh Hawley said he does not regret pumping his fist to cheer on the pro-Trump mob that stormed the Capitol on January 6th. He honestly never thought anyone would find him inspiring. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said recently the Republicans are willing to negotiate with President Biden over his $2.3 trillion infrastructure proposal. McConnell said there might be some wiggle room around the placement of the decimal point. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy said recently that the woke movement in this country, quote, has got to stop because it has led to an absolute epidemic of old white guys saying woke. Second gentleman Doug Emhoff traveled to Pennsylvania today to meet with small business owners, as opposed to President Biden, who spent the weekend meeting with small peanut farmers. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a weird picture. I fear to look, yet I cannot turn away. President Biden said this week that during his trip to Europe in June, he hopes and expects to meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin. That can be arranged, said a paperweight on his desk. According to a Match.com survey, 71% of single people have not had sex since the coronavirus pandemic started, and 91% of married people. What do you think she make? Am I in the nine or the 91? No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Shoemaker. <laughs> Star quarterback Tom Brady said recently that he would trade two of his seven Super Bowl rings to have won a championship at the end of his 2007 undefeated season. Sorry, but we already made a deal, said Satan. <laughs> Producers have announced a new spin-off of the Law & Order series entitled Law & Order for the Defense. Turns out Dick Wolf isn't even close to Dun Dun. <laughs> Every time you think, We've used the dun-dun as a punchline for the last. It comes back around. According to new research, eating more nuts can lead to weight loss and better appetite control. Sorry, that was uh, just every one of my male writers trying to get to cue cards first. A 1,692-foot-long pedestrian suspension bridge recently opened in Portugal and takes at least four minutes to cross. Not to mention three pairs of underwear. And finally, according to a new study, men with larger noses may also have larger penises. In case you're wondering why this guy looks so smug all the time. <laughs> President Biden visited a 70-year-old bridge in Lake Charles, Louisiana today while pitching his jobs and infrastructure plan. Because if Biden's proof of anything, it's how much good a few thousand dollars in bridge work can do for you. 
President Biden went to a Mexican restaurant in Washington yesterday in honor of Cinco de Mayo. He had the enchiladas, and Major had the mariachi band. <laughs> Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said yesterday that, quote, 100% of my focus is on stopping the Biden administration. Oh, really? I don't remember seeing you there. Put your money where your mouth is, bud. Also, where is your mouth? <laughs> Allies of Rudy Giuliani have reportedly asked former President Trump to pay Giuliani for representing him through the 2020 election. Um, do they know what kind of job he did? That's like the captain of the Titanic asking, so where do I submit my invoice? A woman was recently arrested at the Atlanta airport after officials discovered three pounds of cocaine hidden in the bottom of seven pairs of shoes. In her defense, three pounds of cocaine is the only way to make your connection at that airport. The fitness company Peloton recalled two of its treadmills yesterday after dozens of injuries involving children were reported. That's crazy. Who can afford a Peloton and children? A woman in Missouri recently discovered a World War II-era Japanese bomb while gardening, which came as a surprise because she planted cruise missiles. <laughs> Employees of a coronavirus testing facility at an Indonesian airport were arrested yesterday for allegedly washing and reusing nasal swabs for passengers. Well, at least they know who's got COVID now. Looks like, uh, yeah, everyone. And finally, Mother's Day is this weekend, according to six voicemails from your mother. And that, you guys, was a monologue. <laughs>